All right, we're going to go ahead and use the graphing calculator to create a scatter plot, find the correlation coefficient, and the line of best fit. So here's our example. If we look at the age of a child and the child's height, you'll find the child gets older, the height of the child gets taller. Because both are going up, it's a positive correlation. What we're going to do is go ahead and enter these values into a graphing calculator and find the line of best fit. So x and y. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my graphing calculator. All right. So we're going to go ahead and turn your calculator on. All right. So here's your home screen. And remember when I talked about turning the catalog on? I'm going to go ahead and go sh show you that. So you're going to go second, the number zero, and that's the catalog. Now we're going to scroll down. Right now we're still in A's. Now we're heading into the B's. We want to find the diagnostic on. Remember, you only have to do this once. All right. Go ahead and push enter, and then enter one more time. I'm just going to go second quit, so I'm out of there. All right, now what we're going to do is go ahead and put some values into our graphing calculator. So we're going to go ahead and push the stat button. And we're going to edit. So you're just going to leave it there and go ahead and push enter. And now I've left a set of data values in list two. I want to show you how to clear it out. So you're going to arrow up one. Now you'll see the list two is highlighted. Uh, push the word clear and then enter. And that deletes out the list for you. So now I'm going to scroll over list one. So arrow to the right. I'm going to go ahead and put in list one the ages of the children. So I'm going to go from one to eight. So one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, and then we'll just head all the way up to eight. Be very careful that you're entering in all your data points correctly. I'm going to go to list two. So I'm going to arrow to the right, and that brings me up to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter in the weights of the children. So when they're one years old, they weigh 25 pounds, 31 pounds at two, 34 pounds at three. We'll just continue that. 36, 40. Make sure you push enter after each one. We've entered our eight data points. If you'll notice, my graphing calculator is pretty fancy. It's showing on the bottom right here um, my data points. Well, we want to go ahead and graph those data points. So if you push graph, it shows up. If it doesn't show up, then you'd want to um, do your Zoom 9 stat. So where that is, it is zoom right under the format, and then push the number 9, and then enter. And it'll fit it in there for you. All right, now we want to go ahead and um, create our equation for the line of best fit. So we're going to go ahead and calculate. So we're going to push the stat button. We're going to arrow to the right 1, calculate. We want to go down to number 4, linear regression. We'll scroll down to number four, linear regression ax plus b, push enter, and then we want to call up our list. So we'll go second, the number one enters the first list in, and then comma, second, so the number two calls up the list two, and then push enter. And you'll see there you have your uh, values for your slope your y-intercept, and your correlation coefficient. So I'm going to go ahead and write those down. Oh, I lost it here. Bummer. All right, let's see if I can keep it up here a little bit. Let's see if it works here. Oh, it's not going to let me. All right, so if I notice this screen here, your uh, slope is 3.75, your y-intercept is 21.75, and your correlation coefficient is 0.9776. 
All right, now we can go ahead and push grab. All right, so there is our beautiful looking graph. We want to uh, enter that graph in, the second y equals. Remember, we should have shown, checked those graphs. All right, 